BSP zip is one of the main methods of map compression for older Source games like Team Fortress 2 and Counter-Strike Source. It's not available for CSGO and newer games since their servers often use the workshop to share custom content rather than using a fast DL. The advantage of using BSP zip rather than older compression like BZ2 is that the compressed file remains a working BSP and runs in the game. This saves space because it doesn't need to be decompressed after downloading. So here in my TF2 maps folder, I have a BSP that's over 200 megabytes large, and it's not compressed, so I'm gonna fix that. So I'll just shift or right click on it and choose copy as path. I'll then go to the Team Fortress 2 bin folder and shift right click again, and this time open a PowerShell window here. So this opens a PowerShell window in that directory. And from here, we're going to type dot slash BSP zip. Running that without parameters just gives you the help file, but what we want is to compress it. So we're going to add dash repack dash compress, and then give it paste in our path that we copied earlier. So now it knows where the BSP is. And then you hit enter and let it do its thing. So after a while, you'll see that it's printed out, that it's uh, successfully repacked it, and it's gotten it down to around 90 megabytes. And you can see in the map folder, it should reflect that as well. So it successfully um, compressed the map. Sometimes you might run into issues where you have a compressed map, but you want to open it with GCFscape, or you want to modify it in some other way but you can't because it's been compressed. And in order to fix that, you can actually remove the compression by using the same command, but just removing the compressed step. So if I put hit, hit an arrow key, bring this back up, and then I just scroll over here and remove dash compress, it will just run it with the dash repack. So it'll repack it, and you just have to wait a second. It shouldn't take too long, and it'll do its thing. So now it's, it's decompressed it, so it's gone from 90 megabytes back up over 200 megabytes. And again, it should be reflected down here. And now you can properly open it with GCFscape and extract anything you want from it, because it's not compressed. Since these commands are fairly simple, it can be automated pretty easily. And if you're using CompilePal, there's an option you can add to run it after compiling the map. So here we've got CompilePal, and all you really need to do is go to your compile steps and click the Add button, and it'll show up a window here, and you click on the Repack, and that adds the Repack step to this. But if you're going to run this, you want to make sure you have Pack and Cube Maps enabled as well as nav if you're, if you're running with nav. Uh, just because if you compress your map, then afterwards you can't really add anything or modify the file without decompressing it. Another way that you can automate this process is through a simple batch file, which is right here. This basically just runs the BSP zip executable with the path that it's been given. I have it right here as compress.bat. So let's take my BSP again and just drag and drop it onto this file. And it opens up a command window running the same compression. Compressing your map is fairly simple but it's very important for the download speed and disk space, so please compress your maps if you can.